Welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. And if you're in a state where you want to create better relationships with yourself and with others, this is where I can help you. What I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. So today's topic is embracing a new identity. The biggest question in humanity is, who am I and where do I belong? So who are you and where do you belong? Most people say, well, I belong here. I'm unsure. I don't know what to do. Most of the time, we never follow our intuition or we never follow what makes us happy. We get caught up with the normal merry-go-round of doing what society tells us to do, go to school, get a great education, get a job, have kids, get married. That kind of, I guess, treadmill, you would say. But some of us are not meant to do all that. Some of us are meant to do wonderful things with our life, help people out, change the world, create new inventions. Most of the time, we get caught up with what the norm is and what's easy or what have people told us is right, wrong, or indifferent versus to ourself? Let me give you an example. I've been going through two different phases in my life. One, being known as the bodybuilder, the trainer, the person that's going to get you in best shape, six-pack ass, rip this. Okay, all that stuff was an identity of mine. As I'm going through this new uh, coaching and positive psychology practitioner, new knowledge, new power, I'm stuck in a, in a quagmire or I'm stuck in the middle. What the heck do I do? Do I stay with what I know best? Because here's the thought is the ego, which is yourself, will say, well, hey, this is the comfort zone. You know this. You know what to do. Why do something you don't know? You may fail. You may not get there. And that's why we get stuck because we want to go somewhere. But the ego, our mind talks us out of it. So our mind, our conscious mind talks us out of our potential. Because it says, well, you know this. Now we can say, well, we always get outside our comfort zone. How much of us really get outside our comfort zone and really try things different? Or go faithful with fear. So like I said before, trainer, coach, six-pack abs, get you in shape. Now, behavior mindset coach, psychology, positive psychology coach, practitioner. What do I want? I want the latter. So what I did to myself is I worked with a coach and I actually was able to transition that energy taking faith over fear. So what I did is I went down to my basement where I train my clients virtually and still do training is um, I said, I no longer want this. I'm on a new path. I close the door, breathe in, breathe in out. So bringing in new positivity and expelling the old self. The fun thing about that later on that day, after this happened two days ago, I went down to the basement to train clients virtually. And I got this overwhelming headache. Didn't know what the heck was going on with my body. I had to immediately go outside, touch a tree, touch the earth. Because think about it, when you're going through these transitions and energy, your body doesn't know what to do with it. So you ground yourself by touching the environment. A tree, grass, meditating, go on hikes. Because you don't know what to do. The next day I woke up, I used to have RJ Health and Fitness shirts. Those that follow me under RJ Health and Fitness. I actually put those in a bag and I put it for donation. Because I'm letting people know, letting the source, energy of God, that what I really want. See, the unconscious mind doesn't know right, wrong, or indifferent. But if we constantly are second-guessing what we're doing, we never get where we want to go. So if you think to yourself, well, I've done all the work, I've done all this, why am I not getting there? Something, either one, in your environment, or two, more likely, what you're telling yourself is you can't have it. And once you believe you can't have it, or it's impossible you can't get it, you will never, ever get it. That person wants to lose 20 pounds, never gets it because they believe they can. That person wants to get a new job, wants to make more income. It's not the fact they can't get it. Maybe it's that they have a few steps along the way to get there, but they will get there. So I want you to go out there right now and think to yourself, what identity do you want to embrace and how you want to live the rest of your life? Because you have a choice to do that. But don't get stuck I think you can't do it because you can now, if you're tired of who you are and where you are in life and want better relationships, I want you to go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. Bing, hit the discover call button so you and I can connect one-on-one. -on -one. Or Bing, hit the join the master class and let's talk about positivity and how to transition more, more positivity in your life. And again, always, thanks for listening.